with the newspapers fading away, I still think if you can write, you can go any place. There are a lot of, of, of places you can get jobs. For instance, uh, I know that at the, um, say, the Cleveland Clinic or University Hospital, there's a lot of doctors that have to continue writing their papers for advancements in their fields. And I know of some people who are excellent writers who now write the papers for these doctors, and they make a pretty good living doing that. But I do think if you're a writer, uh, you're still going to be in demand, even at television stations, because you can see the readers reading the news, but don't forget somebody has to be behind the scenes writing the news. So, And then also, um, please always think about writing a book. I was amazed to see Kent State University publishing 35 books a year. And if you have a story about Ohio or Cleveland, I would definitely think about uh, writing a book, but but don't give up. There's a there's a future for writers, and uh, you just have to find it. What steps would you like to see them take as as young women? What steps should they well, take? Well, I think first of all they should go if they're in grade school or or um, high school. If there's a, a school newspaper or a school magazine. Uh, get, get involved with the, uh, if they like uh, the theater, go to as many plays, get involved with reading so you know uh, who the readers and the authors of the past were. Even the, I just finished reading Dickens' The Old Curiosity Shop, mm -hmm. and I was just so amazed how, how Dickens wrote this big and big book about these people and how they came to life. Uh, so, I mean, just read a lot.